Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this series of Europa Universalis 4. So, as you may remember, we've already tried the new Providence game, playing as one of the Pirates of the, Re of the Republic, and I was just running a quick test game to make sure that the other two spawn. Uh, Port Royal did spawn in Jamaica, Tortuga did not, but I think that's because I hadn't converted the province, and reading the details a bit more, that's what's required. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to load up the game as Aragon. We're going to go speed 5, just blitz through until the other two spawn. So we're going to start uh, sending, a, we're going to send a missionary straight away to Tortuga to get it converted. Uh, we're going to wait until Jamaica, uh, sorry, Port Royal spawns, and as soon as it does, we'll save the game so that we have a save at that point. And then we'll go on to uh, Tortuga, we'll make another save game, and then we will choose which of the three we want to play as. Um, one or two interesting things have actually come up, which kind of makes me want to lean towards uh, uh, Port Royal, though maybe not necessarily in the same piratey way that you may have expected. Then the AI will take all the reforms of the pirates. I'll just cheat and reverse them. So the Pirate Republic. Nassau has fallen. The pirates of the New Providence have become so emboldened by the absence of civilized government in the Bahamas that they have overrun the fort and proclaimed a Republic of Pirates. Chief among them is the pirates called Benjamin Hornigold. Hornigold maintains a tenuous leadership over the traitors and criminals of the island. The ruthless lieutenants under his command watch him closely for signs of weakness. This Republic of Pirates is not only a violation of our sovereignty over the Bahamas, but an affront to all civilized peoples. Anarchy reigns in New Providence. So they will hang for this, because we're going to stay as Aragon. Don't know if there's any cheat that lets you remove corruption. I think there is. But like I said, we're going to save on the day it happens. So if we do decide to play as Port Royal, for example, uh, or New Providence, we can just go back to the say. Well, no, because then all three of them won't be there. No, it'll have to be whenever the, the, the last one is. So this is New Providence. Let's do a quick save there. Port Royal would be far better for the rating at the start. Yes, but there are two... Well, there's one significant negative for Port Royal and one very significant positive for Port Royal. Um, in fact, let's talk about that now uh, because I'm going to do another straw poll. You've seen New Providence, but you may want to try it again. I, I don't know. So, New Providence starts here, obviously. Um, all three of them have the same national ideas, so that is not relevant. Rather, positioning is. So, New Providence is a little bit further away from the Gulf of Mexico, where there is a lot of good trade. Uh, a lot of good trade. A lot of good raid. Raiding, yes. Except that it can't reach it. It can reach as far as, basically, this kind of area. You can go two sea zones away. One, two, that's our limit. One, two, that's our limit. So we can get, like, the tip of uh, this bit of Mexico, but that's it. Um, Tortuga is in a rather better position. From there, you can reach most of the Caribbean. One, two, that's all the islands. One, two, that's this bit. One, two, we can reach down here. One, two, one, two, you can reach the bottom of Cuba. Uh, one, two, you can reach the Bahamas, including a bit of Florida. One, two, uh, Florida Keys. So I think that Tortuga is in the best position for early raiding and probably ultimately is in the best position for control over the Caribbean because you already start on an island. It will require a war with Caribas, which will not be easy. Uh, and it's also probably the hardest start. Easy access to money, but difficult to hold this position uh, because you can get people landing uh, in the rest of Haiti and then just attacking over land. And then there's Jamaica. Jamaica runs... Well, actually, it, this is a problem shared by Tortuga, but Jamaica isn't actually adjacent to anybody else. So one of the benefits of the Bahamas, which we did see towards the mid-section of the uh, New Providence game, has a border with Florida, which means that you can fabricate claims in Florida and then spread out from there. So we basically fabricated a claim on, I think it was... Mayaka, they use that as a pretext to go to war for Appalachia, then Appalachia uh, would allow us to get into Louisiana, Alabama, uh, and then a little bit of Texas. And also allowed us to spread um, raiding further. Tortuga borders just one nation, Caribas, so you have to go towards Car Caribas. Jamaica has the same problem. In fact, it's possibly even worse, because you only border a little bit of Caribas rather than uh, them who actually... Well, it's the same. Um... However, and you may have noticed it there, Jamaica has a very, 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 very big benefit, which might make us want to play as a smuggler 
rather than as a privateer or a captain or a buccaneer or whatever they are. And that is, it is actually a center of trade, which means that you can get far better and easier control of trade in the Caribbean. So you can get to the 10% requirement for uh, trade wars easier, too. So that is a consideration for the Jamaican situation. However, it is also an island, so it has the same benefit as New Providence. So basically, if we want a trade game, Jamaica. If we want a conquest game, New Providence. If we want a hard game, Tortuga. So those are the three options. So I'm just going to very quickly create another straw poll. It's going to be much the same as the previous one. Uh, and we're just going to say... Attempt two. No. Pirates of the Caribbean two. New Providence. Uh, we know how it's done. So this will be better. Right? Right? Then we've got Tortuga. Easier to raid. Hard to hold. Possibly best mid to late. And then we have got Port Royal. Central trade. This will be a smuggler's run. Okay, let's create that poll. And the smugglers are, of course, one thing that we have not done before. And there we are. <coughs> So let me know what you are thinking from this position. So I'm just going to bump up the speed now to speed 5. And we're just going to blitz through time until the others uh, declare their independence. And I'm also going to like deal with uprisings, building, the usual stuff. But it's going to be super fast. So don't worry too much about what's happening to Aragon. That is not the point of this playthrough anymore. Um, so one thing I do need to do is make sure that we are coring everything. The second thing I need to do is make sure once Tortuga is cored that we can start converting it. Um, so, Seville. Definitely want to core that. And also, these ships are currently just sitting here taking attrition because their privateering was reset. For reasons. Don't know why. Uh, armies, are they all drilling? Yes. We are in fact fighting rebels. And we won! Huzzah! Let's drill some more. We're still waiting for the admin points. Okay, that's fine. So like I said, we're just going to be blitzing through time. We're just going to be kind of waiting for Jamaica, uh, Port Royal to appear, which it will. At least my testing it did. Noble family requests aid. Uh, I don't particularly want to pay you, so I'll lose the admin. And the nobility dislike us a little bit. I am okay with this. A reckless privateer. More privateer efficiency. And Sevilla's having rebels, so we need to undo you, and we'll just move you here. It's adjacent to two forts, so it's not going to do anything. The Netherlands declared independence. This never happened in my test game. Oh, interesting. And the Netherlands defies Burgundian oppression. The Dutch people of the Low Countries have had enough of the rule of their hated enemies in Burgundy and have broken free. Should we ally with this fledgling state to support their independence war? They are currently at war with Burgundy, Austria, the Commonwealth, Great Britain, Newfoundland, and Munster. They are allied to France. Yes. We're going to do that. Um, now I really wish I could go into observer mode. Although they haven't actually dragged us into any wars. They've not called us. And Burgundy is no longer a valid rival. So Burgundy is about to collapse, but we're going to have a Netherlands instead. And one really important thing that the Netherlands does, colonizes. So we're going to have another colonial power in the New World, which is great. And this is actually a pretty good Netherlands. I mean, it's not the whole thing, obviously, but in terms of Netherlands's I've seen spawning in the past, this is good. Alright, so we need another rival. Uh, I think a natural rival is going to be Great Britain, as we do have a lot of opposing territories and opposing interests now. Portugal and France. And we can now humiliate Britain, but again, I, I'm i not trying to play this. I'm just trying to pass through time. The AI can deal with all of that finicky stuff. So are you actually fighting Burgundy? Yes. 
But you're not calling your allies in. Netherlands, what are you doing? Are they not allowed to? Alright, so we're fighting the rebels. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Dead. Come on, Jamaica. Let me just double check that we're getting the piracy required here. Yeah, easy. Easy. And Tortuga still being converted. Asturias is getting uprisings. Let's go and deal with them with them. Ah, here we go. The Pirates of Port Royal. We have awarded a great number of letters of mark to enterprising privateers in the Caribbean with the goal of harassing shipping. These privateers have made their home in the town of Port Royal on Jamaica, where they have found great opportunity for plunder. The willingness of Port Royal's authorities to deal in stolen goods has also attracted a less savoury sort. Pirates who bear no letter of mark and recognise no sovereign have begun to make their bases on the island. The appeal of lawlessness has been, not been lost on our privateers. Several have already abandoned their commissions and turned pirate. The gossip in Va Valencia is that Port Royal has become a pirate utopia, a Sodom of the New World. So we could switch over to Port Royal right now. John Davies is 606 becomes a ruler. Uh, six charge infantry, two leather cannon, four galleon, four early frigates, four uh, merchantmen. I think that's actually a better start than New Providence has. We're just going to say, we will restore order in Port Royal. So Port Royal has now spawned, so we've got New Providence up here. And then Port Royal down here. With the Jolly Roger. We'll save the game and we'll call this Port Royal. Hey, Effa. And everyone else. I haven't actually really said hello to everyone. Hi! Welcome to the stream. Port Royal. Do they spell it with an E or not? No, they don't. Hmm. Okay, and then we have one more, which is Tortuga. Tortuga is going to take us a little bit more time, because they need to core it first, and then we need to convert it, and that takes... So a source tells me 42 months. So we're going to be waiting another... Four years-ish, anyway. And watching the Netherlands and their glorious power die. I'm disappointed by this. You had such an opportunity. You were the chosen one. And you could have had France and me joining you. So what's the flagship going to be? I don't know. That's going to partially depend on who we play as. Uh, so those of you who are just joining us, I have a straw poll up right now about which faction to play as when all three of the pirates are spawned. I'm going to have to spawn them in personally, myself, um, just to make sure that all three of them appear, because they did not appear in the new Providence game. So it is taking a little bit longer to get to that position. Like I said, I was running a test game, but I didn't realise that I had not converted uh, Tortuga for like 10 years and it still hadn't spawned. And it's Sunni, so it definitely can't spawn there. It has to be Protestant, Reformed, or Anglican. And we've got rebels down here. Yep. All of these rebels are looking awfully familiar. I'm getting a bit of deja vu here. Thankfully, we've been very diligent in creating... Um, fortifications. Okay, so the Netherlands is just going to be Holland. But you know what? That's okay. Utrecht owns the most of the north and they probably will join the Netherlands. Maybe Brabant will too. In which case that would actually be a really strong Netherlands. They'll only have lost uh, the southern part and uh, Flanders. Was Wallonia part of the Netherlands? Not actually sure on that point. Probably. I'm going to assume it wasn't part of France, because there's no way they would have let that go. Actually, no. Stay here. I want to stay behind the forts and wait until they start sieging. Because you will notice this army is a little bit smaller than the others, and that's because they are lacking rather a lot of manpower. Palo is now self-sustaining. So, where do we want to go next in Indonesia? Most of the objective here was just to get naval bases. So we've already control over this. We've got Palu, which is actually a trading port. Uh, we could go for the Philippines or Taiwan. We've already gone for Taiwan, so I guess the Philippines. Are there any centers of trade left in the Philippines are not claimed? Short answer? No. Long answer? No. 
What about... Oh, we can't see trade goods, can we? I'm going to say the Southern Island. I'm going to go and colonise that. Throw you in a ship, send you over here. We seem to have an extra ship for some reason. And this now counts as core, so we can actually reach all of this. Which is quite nice. Alright, how's Tortuga doing? It's getting there. Alright, Sevilla's being converted, so... We would have a missionary available. You know what? Uh, no, we, we, we are going to convert something. We'll do one of the short ones, so 14 month. We'll do Zamora. I would like to convert more of Iberia. From the parts that we stole from Castile. <coughs> that army can start drilling. Mamluks are no longer a valid rival, so we need to have another one. Uh, Commonwealth Austria. I think Austria. No, we can't actually arrive. It's because they're already a rival. You're an idiot. Burgundy. Burgundy? How does Burgundy like us? Burgundy does not like us. <laughs> like, at all. Um, okay. Flemish Separatists. Lots of Flemish Separatists. Then yes, I think I'm going to go ahead and rival Burgundy. Although, if we could see a colonial Burgundy, that would be pretty cool too. Like, I just want to have as many colonial powers as possible here. Ooh, that's a big uprising. That kind of sucks. That's probably going to require two stacks. Okay. Let's go grab the navy. Thankfully, it's in Cairo, which is fortified, so we have some time. Ah, yes, and the knights are fighting the Ottomans again. And they actually seem to be taking more territory in this fight than they did in the New Providence one. And can't forget about the guys down here. Once that gets to maybe zero, then we'll attack. Unfortunately, it does look like that army is rather low in the priorities. What I might do is trade in some professionalism. Do it once. We need the manpower. Kalang native uprising. Speaking of uprisings, why do we have two transport fleets out here? Oh, it's the Taiwan. Right, and we can't leave ships out there because we're out of range. Although, the port has been established, so we can actually go and land over there now. At least we stay... As long as we stay in port, then it's all good. Alright, how's this looking? This is almost done. Local fortification expert found Almera is going to get extra fortification. New Providence still has their truces. So does Port Royal. Pate's risen up. Oh, man. These guys are really doing problems. Although Pate is again another fort, so we have time. And sorry that I'm going so quick and whizzing around, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get things done quickly. So that we can go to the pirate bit, and then we'll slow things right down. I just thought I would record and show all of this off so you can see like any changes in the world while we're doing it. Like the, the appearance of the Netherlands. Kind of a big deal. And also I ran out of time between episodes. Because <laughs> the test game didn't quite go to plan. Minority has been expelled from Messina. And Tumuka has been done. So, I'm going to be a little bit biased here. We know how important Mayaka is for expanding as New Providence. So we're actually just going to go after Patano instead of Mayaka. Because there's one thing that New Providence doesn't want to do, and that's fight Aragon at the start. Can I do some things to make the pirate bit more, more interesting, like releasing vassals and things? Uh, that's certainly possible if we do the smuggler run. Because one of the things we can play with then are trading cities. Because I'm kind of curious to see if the trading cities have a trading city government, or if they also become pirates. Tortuga, hurry up. Okay, so you've been done. Why can't I missionary it? Uh, 
end of the month. Nope. Why can't I put a missionary here? Because I have no missionary, that's why. Duh! Oh man, they took the fort. Whoops. Well, let's go and beat Pate, and then we'll go and take that back. And there's the conversion. Good. Right, Tortuga. There we go. 41 months. We do have a 2.4 chance per month. Send. Alright, so once Tortuga is converted, then we will be able to spawn Tortuga as well. Oh, you mean release Aragon a bit? Well, I kind of want them to be an endgame beast. Because that gives us something to try and beat with the pirates. <clears throat> no, I think it's okay. Because they don't have India yet. So that's that's one area we could intercept and weaken them. And they are prone to rebellions because they're just long and thin. We should probably build some stuff. Army is under attack. Oh no. Doomsday. Siege of Bagamoya is done. There we are. You should retake this yourself. Break the alliance with France. That balance them out in Europe. I could see them doing that anyway. Especially once colonies up here start to overlap some more. Like one of the nice things about E4 is alliances and stuff do change as circumstances change. Plus, the AI always seems to break stuff like that, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. We could go diplomatic tech. I don't think I want to do that. And also, that was another interesting thing, is Aragon was 1818-18, but New Providence was a 1817-18, and in fact still is. Come on, Tortuga. Burgundy is no longer a valid rival. We're just that strong. Commonwealth now, I guess. It's the, only, the only real legit threat in the area. Natives attacking. France declared we're a Mohican. So the French are going after the natives. Colonialism against Portugal. So my truce with them must have just ended. Land theft. Side with the clergy, which means the nobility hate our guts. Or side with the nobility. Oh, that's giving land. Or side with neither. Neither. So you know Mordred Tortuga is the home of the Dutch pirates. Now you're just trying to tempt me to play as Tortuga. Grr. No, I will abide by the uh, decision of the straw poll. And the straw poll can be found here, if you have not yet voted. Border friction. Mm, diplo power, because I don't want to lose the claim there. And we can get an idea. Naval cadets. Naval fire and morale when losing ships. From the naval ideas. Let's do it. Boundary dispute. The lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps would occasionally lead to overlapping claims of authority in border regions. So Aragon gains a claim on Gayaco, Galicayo, or loses stability. Nope, I, I, I'll take the uh, claim. Thank you. Much obliged to you. And our Diplo is about to overrun, so let's go and build some up. Actually, Alexandria is a very good place to build up. It's still pretty cheap. And it has spices. Okay, halfway done. Sometimes a scandal would erupt in the royal court, which would upset a monarch to the point that the diplomatic activity would come to a standstill until things went and down a bit. And because Anne is silver-tongued, we can attempt to lessen the impact, which we shall do. Indian Ocean Islands famine. Oops. Too much exploitation. How come we're generating, like, no military points? We are. Getting eight. But we've not tried to recruit any military leaders or anything. It is going up. Hmm. 
France will be forced to give income. France just lost to Susquehannock? It's one of these, isn't it? Her on Susquehannock. It is. Oh, that's hilarious. France just lost a war to natives. You were saying about needing to break that alliance with the French? <laughs> Not sure we do. <laughs> Profiting in Suenza. What is Suenza? Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. This is annoying Switzerland or... Okay, Suenza will be in Italia. I think. So it's the city, isn't it? What the hell has that got to do with Switzerland? This is not a center of trade and it produces cloth, so this is definitely a goods produced improvement. I miss sending. Oh. Oh. Right. I want to expel the minorities from Suenka. There you go. Have that. It's all the Swiss, isn't it? We just sent all the Swiss there. English Civil War. This time they went with the parliamentarians. Well, we'll see if the parliamentarians can win. Oliver Cromwell is only a, two, a 0 2 6. That's a particularly poor Cromwell. I've definitely seen better than that. Okay, we are almost done here. 92%. Getting closer. Oh, the French have actually managed to land some troops this time. That's hilarious, though. And there we go. Tortuga is now Protestant. And so we should just need to wait. And it should flip. Can I pay off any loans? We have loans. Oh, we have loans. Yes, I can pay them both off. Well spotted. Native assimilation. That's not what I want. I want Tortuga. Right, I'm just going to double check that we've got everything. We have the privateers. 22%. Check. We have... My window telling me what is required. Check. Tortuga, either you or a colonial nation who belongs to you needs to own Tortuga plus one additional province. Check. Tortuga, but not necessarily the country, needs to be Protestant, Reformed, or Anglican. Check. You have either 1% privateer power in the Caribbean, a treasure ship recently passed, or any colonial nation in the Caribbean has five or more war exhaustion. Check. 